welcome back guys to my channel and as you know we are back with another video but by the title we are doing something new we are doing a sephora skincare haul so basically i've decided to invest more in my skincare and i've really been trying to focus on doing that because you know it's as you know it's super important to you know check in on your hair and I know like I've always bragged on having a like two-part plan but my two-part plan I don't think it really works it works like when like my period is done and over but I think it's just my space my face but we're trying to get rid of these dark marks <sighs> trying to get our face and neck clearer and so I decided to invest but invest on a budget so with that being said let me just tell you this guy at sephora hooked me up i got mainly like all the ordinary products but let's go through the testers first because he gave me like a tons of testers um he gave me two one coco chanel tester one chanel number no. five tester one versace tester and i was just like guy i don't but you know there's like these tiny little bottles hold on let me go grab one and so here is the Coco, I mean the Chanel number no. five tester, and then here is the Coco Chanel tester. Um, and just to give you a look at how like it's like really cute. It's a spray bottle. It's very tiny. Um, but you know, as a broke girl now, rich very soon, I cannot afford Chanel, and so I will be. I think these are good, like a good five sprays. So use them when use them very, very rarely, like ever. I do have a St. Laurent perfume that I really like, but I only wear that on special occasions. I wear my little body sprays um, on a regular day basis because you know it's cheap, good, smells good, great. Uh, but perfumes, I don't really invest in, but I probably will start investing in them when I have money, which is very soon. Um, then he gave me this turban hair towel, which I actually needed because I left mine at home in the States. So that was good. Um, he also gave me this Morocco, Moroccan oil hair mat, hair, hair, what is this, hair mask. And then he also gave me this purple shampoo and conditioner to like better your blonde, which I do have blonde. Um, so I think those will come in like like very handy and then he gave me like a bunch of like face either this is like face moisturizer and then like youth youth flow serum by Kenzo I've never heard of this brand in my life so yeah he stacked up and packed up on the free samples but let's get into this video for real for real and uh, let's talk about what i picked up at Safawa. um so basically i heard a lot about like the ordinary brand and like how important it was or how good it was so i've been trying that out i actually just used the squalene cleanser this morning which was really weird because it it does like get into like an oil consistency i'll do a whole like skincare routine for you guys but it does work on like an oil consistency basis and i was just like dang this is weird because you know usually cleansers like they soap up in your hand that does that is not this um and it's supposed to also be a good makeup cleanser but i don't use makeup so that did not apply to me so the first one of the first things i got was the rose quartz facial roller because my face have, has been looking like very puffy lately and I really just want to like, you know, cinch up these edges. And I've been doing it with my finger for a while, but I don't think that I've been doing it very good. I don't think I've been doing a good job. I wanted the gua sha really, but um, they were out, they were sold out. And the lady kind of explained to me that the facial roller, it does the same thing. It just gets rid of the puffiness, which is what I need. Like, no puffiness. No puffiness. Um, next thing on the list that I got. What is this? Oh. Was the Natural Moisturizing Factors HA 
um oh as long as my face is in it it's not gonna focus is the original factors naturals formula dehydration plus aj so plus um i'm going to say hydrochloric acid i believe yes it is have hyaluron hyaluronic acid sorry um and i heard this is really good at moisturizing but i'm like kind of testing it both on my skin on different days so that I, you know you don't just introduce your skin to a bunch of different new products without being sure that they're suiting you uh, so got that then i got these sephora original reusable cotton swabs because i don't like consistently buying cotton over and over and over again so these are 100 percent made out of cotton fibers come from organic farms um and you just wash them over and you're done you're done washing you just wash them over and you're done um then we got the glycolic acid toning solution oh i forgot to take it out of the box and actually show you guys but this is what the ordinary moisturizer looks like with the hyaluronic acid um i really want to see how long these products last me but anybody have money to be paying um a bunch of money every month for uh stuff okay so I forgot to do with prices 25.99 was for this euro this was in euros um and then this was 12.99 and it comes with a pack of seven and then this was i think 10 euro uh, which is very cheap for a good moisturizer if you i mean in my opinion but you know i digress it ain't no drunk elephant costing a buck and a dime so then i got this glycolic acid toning solution so that's why i got the pat like the cotton pads because i know i was gonna have to be using this the only problem is this is very strong um as it says on the warning on the box so that means that you know definitely be careful with it is pH 3.6 um, and it's a toning solution which I've heard it's really really good but the only downside is that you only have you only should be using it once a week not once a week once a day and recommend it at night so this is like your a part of your p.m. Um, skincare routine and not your morning routine and then I got the niacinamide uh, 10% plus the zinc 1% that I'll be using. Um, I definitely thought that this one was also considered like a holy grail type of thing. So I was like, wow, this is very interesting. But that is the packaging. Um, and you just do like one, two, three dots. So I think this one should last. A considerably amount of long time a considerable amount of time but you know who knows with me i got heavy hands um and then i went and grabbed a few face masks because i wanted to like incorporate some you know self-care for myself which i used these yesterday the pomegranate eye mask Ugh, these made my eyes feel so good um so i got why is this not focusing Oh, so I got two pairs of those. So I have one left. And then this is a Sephora peeling mask, a glow booster. Definitely want to use this mm, maybe the night before like a beach day. So we can get a good like sense of like my skin and get it glowing, glowing. And then we got, guys, y'all lips get dry at night because that it happens to me. Anyway, point is I got this lip mask from Sephora because oh my gosh, I needed it. It was a desperate need. And I was running on a chopstick, so I was just like, we can't be running on a chopstick. That's just not what we're doing here. And then I got the Sephora brand, the As hyaluronic acid um eye cream um i couldn't find the ordinary uh eye serum so i got this one and it's a brightening eye cream because i do have like really dark circles this camera really does a good job making me look good but i really have dark circles under my eye and over my eye and so i just really wanted that and this is what the packaging looks like it's very small very tiny but the consistency i haven't touched it but it just looks just looks oh, it just looks so fluffy but you know i digress um 
but this one also has the same ingredients that the ordinary one has so i would assume that it would work the same it has the caffeine and it also has like just it's work for am and pm so you just dab 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 and just rub that in there oh i forgot to grab the squalene cleanser one second Okay, and so this is the Ordinary Squalene Cleanser that I used this morning. My face feels pretty nice. Um, like I said, it was just so weird to see that it turned, like I was washing with an oil consistency instead of like a foamy consistency or a slippery consistency. So I don't know what's the reasoning behind that, but here is the look. Um, yeah, I really don't know the reasoning behind that, but, you know, it was, it's, it feels pretty nice right now. I haven't had any breakouts or anything like that. Let me zoom in so you guys can see my face. I haven't had any breakouts, but as you can see, just this, just this. Anyway, as you can see, I have a lot of hyperpigmentation, a lot of, what is this? A lot of tear, I think. I have a lot of dark marks, um. Uh, yeah it's just like not clear not smooth very textured right now i need to shave with my eyebrows but yeah so we need the skincare to get rid of all these dark marks and get everything together so my face or actually my chest doesn't actually look like sense but whatever um thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed let me know in the comments what your skincare routine looks like um don't forget to like comment and subscribe one more thing there was one more thing and i couldn't remember what it was um oh let me know down below if you would like to see me doing like a first try slash first tester on my new skincare routine because i really want to do that i think it'll be super duper fun but also because i want to try it out with you guys or i just want to show you guys what my skincare routine looks like i think i might go back for the peeling mask because i heard that that's pretty good but a lot of the products that i wanted um so for example like the eye serum and like the lip mask that, that they had and like a different cleanser they all were out of stock unfortunately but we still got a good list of things and obviously you're gonna go through like this trial and error since where you're just like mm, is this okay mm, is this not okay is my face reacting to it stuff like that so take them all with a grain of salt from me but anyway i'll see you guys later